so friends welcome to this lecture number 13 in this lecture you will learn how to use the tags and name option to group the cucumber scenarios so let's start with the tags so what happens is uh, let us say you want to execute these steps or tests or the scenarios in the feature files located at this particular directory so what it uh, will do is it will go and pick up all the scenarios uh, from all the feature files that are available in that particular directory so in that directory we have got this many feature files so what it will do is go to each feature file then pick up each scenario and then try to execute that but sometimes what we want is we want to execute the specific scenarios uh, like based upon the category so to put the specific scenarios in the category what you can do is use the tags concept for example you want to execute this scenario so let us put that particular scenario in the tag called a sanity then what will happen is you, if you want to execute the sanity scenarios you can just go to my tests and then there you can use this option tags is equal to sanity so if you execute this now what will happen is that will execute the test from that particular all the scenarios that are associated with this particular tag so i'm just gonna run this one So you can see that only one scenario has been executed because there was only one scenario that was tagged with this particular tag that is how we can use the tags like you can uh, group the scenarios with specific using those tags and like that so you can put that tag at the feature level as well so when you put this tag at this level at the top of the file all scenarios will be marked with this particular tag and all the scenarios will be executed so even though there were so many scenarios and feature files in that particular directory only this was executed because this scenario was stacked with this particular tag sanity now sometimes what we need to do is uh, we need to skip the tests that are of particular tag so for that you need to use this particular syntax this particular symbol indicates that execute all the scenarios except this particular scenario sanity tags so if you now try to execute these tests what will happen is it will try to execute all the scenarios except that scenario which was tagged with sanity i'm just gonna stop it because there are lots of scenarios in there as you can see on the bottom it is showing lots of scenarios that are being executed and i'm just gonna stop it now because it will start executing all the scenarios over there So that is how you can execute the scenarios, uh, like include the scenarios to be executed from specific category or exclude as well using this particular negation mark. Now sometimes uh, what you need to do is you need to execute the scenarios which are tagged with say multiple tags like sanity as well as regulation. Then what you can do is you can use this particular syntax. then what will happen is it will try to execute the scenarios that are tagged with both the attributes let us try to run this one so this is actually the or condition here one scenario was executed because uh, there was one scenario which was tagged with sanity so this is or condition what it will do is it will check for the scenarios which is tagged either with sanity or regression and let us say you want to execute the scenario which is tagged with both attributes then what you have to do is you have to use this syntax like that so this is the and condition what will happen is it will try to look for the scenarios which are marked with both the tags and then execute that scenario remember that they are put in separate strings as such separated by the comma and since there is no scenario which is marked with both the tags it will say that there are no steps or the scenarios found as you can see none of the features match to the filters so since there is no feature ally or the scenario which is marked with both the tags it is saying that particular error but now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to my uh, this particular atm specification or feature and mark it 
scenario with the regression so that is how you can add the multiple tags to the same scenario just separated by the space and now if you execute this particular test what will happen is it will execute the tests in that particular scenario because that was marked with both the tags all right one scenario was executed so that is how you can uh, include or exclude the scenarios using this tags thing this basically allows you to group the scenarios now another way to execute the specific scenarios is like using the name for example over there we have got this particular name enter correct pin at atm enter wrong pin at atm so we want to execute say all the scenarios whose name contains the pin word then what you can do is instead of tags you can use name option name is equal to over there you can give the name say pin and followed by comma then what will happen is it will look for all the scenarios from this particular it'll uh, look for all the scenarios in that particular directory and then execute only those scenarios that are uh, whose name has uh, got this particular word pin so let us try to execute that particular test here you can give the regular expression as well but normally you can give the one word as well so it will actually look for the substring in the name all right so here you can see that it is executed four scenarios we got four scenarios had those that name pin in their name so that is how you can use the name as well to execute the scenarios up out of given scenarios so that is how you can use the tags and name to execute the only specific scenarios uh, from the future files that ends our lecture number 13 that is using tags and name to group the scenarios in cucumber and in java i hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on selenium and cucumber